part one of the mega tree build. We got a bunch of pixels. We got mega tree strips. I guess we got to get these all pushed together. So here we go. And there we have the completed strips. 16 strips, 100 pixels each at one inch spacing. We have the mega tree topper, which is a 3D printed star that I designed. It's got an even 200 pixels on it, which includes five star rings. Um, on the back, we have brackets for mounting it to half inch EMT that even has set screws to hold it in place. So let's go ahead and use the same uh, pixel pushing magic and get this put together. And there we have the completed star showing up some effects. Next, we need to build a post and a base to support the lights that we pushed. So here we have our one and a half inch rigid conduit that we'll use for the main post. We have three quarter inch PVC that will be bent for the bottom ring half inch EMT that will go from the topper to support the star. We have the topper from your pixel store. And then we have flanges, bolts, nuts, washers, and some reducers to bring everything down to size. We also have a two inch PVC sleeve that will go in the base that fits pretty snugly around the one and a half inch conduit. For the base, I started with a two by eight by 10 foot board cut it in half down to five foot sections, and then cut out a half lap in the middle. And this will be the start of our base. I'm going to go ahead and apply wood glue. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put a couple screws in to hold it tight while it dries. To attach our wood base to the five gallon bucket, we're going to use some half inch bolts with nuts and washers going through the bottom of the bucket into the base. Those will then stick into the bucket to be tied in with the concrete. So let's go ahead and drill our holes from the boards into the bucket. After some struggle off the camera from only having two hands and no one to help me right now, we have the bolts and nuts through the bottom And then inside the bucket, we can see the bolts coming through, and another nut in the washer at the bottom to connect it. So with our base assembled, I put in the two inch PVC sleeve, create a slight support for it, and we'll go ahead and add the concrete. The nice thing about the fast set concrete is that you can pour the concrete mix in and then add the water on top. One bag of 50 pounds says it uses about 1.9 liters of water, so we have our fancy measuring device for water, the 2 liter bottle. The instructions say you don't need to mix it, but I like to just give it a little poking with a stick to get that water down into the concrete mix. With the concrete in, we're just going to go ahead and recheck for level on the post before it starts to set. Now we can go ahead and get our topper assembled. From going from the flange to my support for my star, I took the one and a half inch flange, reduced it twice to get down to half inch EMT, and then that flange will match the one that goes on the bottom of the topper into the rigid EMT pole. So I went ahead and got all the connections finger tight. I used a washer on both sides. I'm just gonna eyeball uh, this to be centered. And then we can go ahead and tighten it down. Next, we have our J-bolts. So we can go ahead and get those added on. You didn't really want to watch me adjust every nut and J-bolt one by one. So just a summary what I did is I tightened them down by hand until the bolt was about even with the nut, so that will give me the same height coming out of all of them. I then went around with the wrench on one side and pliers on the other, and I was able to adjust them pretty close to 
perpendicular with the outside of the ring, so my string should be pretty evenly spaced. To reinforce the holes on my strips that are used on the J bolts and then on the bottom with the bungee cords, I'm going to use grommets. So I have a 10 millimeter grommet loaded into the tool. Go ahead and put it on there, give it a little squeeze, and there we have a nice grommet that will help to reinforce that connection. With a piece of half inch rebar cut, we can go ahead and attach our star to the topper. I use self-tapping screws to go through the 3D printed bracket into the EMT. And so now we can see it's nice and sturdy and in place. With the concrete in the base set, we can go ahead and attach our topper to the pole. In order to make the base ring, I used 3 quarter inch PVC. I heated it with a heat gun and slowly uh, shaped it into a jig. Um, you can see on one side I have support pieces on both sides of the pipe. One side I have it without. Um, what I actually did is started with just the outside and slowly bent it in. And then to help hold it in place while I continued on, I added the pieces in the middle. And then you can see at the top uh, some support pieces that keep it down. It doesn't create a perfect circle, but it will be good enough for the case of supporting the tree strips at the bottom. After some initial tests, I found that the tension from the strips was bending the PVC more than I'd like. So I reinforced the ring by adding some 2x4 diagonals and then connected it down in two more additional spots. So now there should be no problem with it bending. To keep the bowl from spinning when it's in the base, I'm going to drill a hole through the PVC sleeve and the conduit, and then I'll be able to put a bolt through it and tighten it down on the other end. And there we have, he holds it nice and tight in there, so I don't have to worry about any spinning. And there we have the final product standing up. Along the ring, I used screws and washers after I measured out to get perfect spacing, and that way it will keep it there throughout the season.